Hey friends, it's me, Abby. Welcome to our Friday feature. And this week is all about citrines. Uh, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, just a couple of pieces that are already up on the website that I want to feature for our November birthstones. And then I have a handful of brand new, never before seen pieces. And those are all going to have first look prices. And any purchase from the November birthstone collection for the month of November gets a free citrine crystal. And I've got some big chunks. They've got the beautiful little um, crystal ends, pointed ends, and so super excited about this. If you're watching this um, after the live, I just wanna say thank you for tuning in. And you're probably the only one getting this quick intro because it takes a few minutes for our live people get on here. So I am just super excited to share these with you. Um, and just a quick, just a quick mention, I have been running, we have available partially payments on the website. So basically what that means is you can take um, any of these pieces and you have two months to pay for them. It splits it up into four easy payments. So just a super easy way because I know jewelry it's it's a more expensive item um, and it's a special it's a special privilege to have uh, fine jewelry so that just kind of breaks it up and makes it a little bit easier to own so let me go ahead and start with a few of the pieces that you if you have been scouring the website you may have seen before um, I'll just start off with telling you a little bit about November's birthstone um, so it's citrine it's in the quartz family but it is actually one of the most rare occurring in nature of the quartz family. So almost all citrines that you see in jewelry now are smoky quartz or amethyst that have been heat treated to bring out that gold. So I guess you could say it's a burnt amethyst, but it's not really burnt because it's not scorched. It's just heated to golden perfection. Um, so that's just something really fun. I've learned a lot of things about citrine this week and I'm happy to share them with you. Now, that being said, there are a few alternatives if you don't like citrine for your birthstone. Um, and I think honestly, anything in that yellow to red orange range is an awesome substitute. You can also do topaz. Um, topaz in its most common and natural color is a bit of a citrine color. Um, so I think that might be why citrine and topaz are both used interchangeably. So for our first piece, I just wanna go ahead. I thought it was really cool. So citrine has been called the sunstone throughout history. Now there is a such thing as sunstone, such as this little beauty, which is more of an orange. It's copper, copper colored um, and got those flakes of color in there. So there is a sunstone, but citrine has been called sunstone. It's just kind of a fun little tidbit there. Um, so the one that I have on is the Regent Sunstone and you can see when it catches that light, it's just like flashes of fire. It almost makes me think of like fish scales or something like that. Um, this piece in particular has um, a little bit of 14 karat rose gold on it. It's got the um, 14 karat rose gold prongs and then a little bit of the 14 karat rose gold on the side and then the stardust going around. Um, this one is 325. And now with rings, you don't ever have to worry about what your size is or um, if you're giving it as a gift, what size they need. I can send you a ring sizer and they're all sizable. I don't charge anything to size my rings. So you are fine, you are taken care of. Um, while we're on the subject of rings, I have one more I wanna share with you. And then I'm going to show you a piece that I collaborated with my friend Yesha. I think I see her on here. Hey Yesha. <laughs> she is a incredible, she's an incredible porcelain artist. Um, so she made these cabochons, these basically stones, and hand painted like flowers and plant life on them. And we set them like jewelry. And it was just such a cool collaboration. We were both so like laid back and um really happy to create those so really fun really fun project um so real quick i'm gonna go ahead and show you this carnelian as well you may have remembered i think we showed this last week um it's a rose cut carnelian so super duper bright orange really pretty ring stacks well with other stackers 
Um, that's a good, like if you like citrine but you want something really bright orange, um, you can do this ring for your November birthstone. Um, that one's 130. Now, I know on birthstones, it's kind of funny. I've talked to people and they're like, oh, that's not my birthstone, I can't wear it. That's not a thing. It doesn't have to be your birthstone to wear it. Um, you can just wear it because you love it because not every gemstone is a birthstone. So there's a whole mix. Um, the really cool thing about citrine is that it's so much more than just the November birthstone. Um, it's this bright golden yellow color and it just like exudes like excitement and optimism and happiness. Um, yellow is such a happy color, you know? It's funny, I would think about like the, the yellow smiley faces and stuff. And there's a reason there's such an obnoxious bright yellow. It's because it's a really happy, really energetic color. And citrine kind of embodies that. Um, so the next piece I wanna show you, it's already up on the website. And it was a collaboration piece. Um, it's got a hand-painted calendula on there. And then right above it is this hand-carved, um, citrine flower right on top. And I love the color of this because it is like, yeah, they're super happy. Um, it's almost like a honey color and it's sweet. So this has two separate links. So they kind of like move separate from each other and you can see the back of the stone. So another really cool thing about these porcelain pieces. Um, so they're glazed on the front, but they're still very porous on the back. So you can, if you want, take a bit of an essential oil and drop it on the back of the porcelain and you kind of have like your little own um, oil diffuser that you can wear. So that's kind of a fun, I have this one on an 18 inch chain. I think this is a good length for it. Um, a lot of scoop necks and v-necks is good for it. If you have a higher collar, it'll go right over. You could wear it longer. I guess you could wear it shorter too. The other one I have on is 16 inches. I kind of like it at this length. It's it's fun. So it is on sterling silver, it's black and silver. Um, and I think that's really fun because the black kind of brings out the pop of black in the hand painted elements. So really fun piece. Um, carved gemstones are so, I don't know, imaginative, fun, creative pieces. So I think this is a really fun one because it's got the hand painted flower and the hand carved flower. So it's like double up on the also. This one is 324. There's a lot of really cool detail going on with this one. So I'll put that back on the neck over here. And then we are going to dive into some brand new, never before seen citrine pieces. So let me go ahead and just talk about what I have on right now because these are super cool. Um, the necklace I'm wearing is at a 16 inch um, length. I'm like, ooh, let me get to your level here. It's on my little branch design, so it's almost like whoo, growing and entangled is the citrine. It's set with four prongs. Um, I can add an extender on here because if you wanna wear it a little bit longer, I think it looks great a little bit longer too. So this would be like an 18 new, yeah, new pieces. So I'll try to, I'm gonna post detailed up close shots right after this video so you can get a better idea. But look at that. It's it's like it's like a breeze moving through. So just a really fun and this is um this is a really cool citrine too. It has a little bit of an inclusion to it. So you get that natural gemstone action going. Um this one, so this is a brand new piece, so I'm doing a first look price. Um, after Saturday, it will be 174 and it will stay 174. Um, I don't really do sales. Um, but for today and tomorrow, if you message me and get to me first, uh, you can get it instead of 174, you can get it for 147. So it's in sterling silver. Um, I can do these in any carat gold. Um, of course it'd be a little bit different because each piece is hand forged, intuitively designed, um, and every stone is so completely different. Um, 
So this one is in sterling silver. Everything is fused in place, so you're not gonna get caught on anything. It's super strong, but also very dainty and lightweight. So that's really what one of the things I really love about it. Um, it's it's got to be comfortable. Who, who's going to wear it? Now somebody was asking about 18 karat gold. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to a gold piece that I have for you. So citrine is such a beautiful, happy yellow. Um, it looks so amazingly regal and beautiful with gold. And so I've selected this really dark yellow orange one. Um, and it's, it's got flakes in it, almost like a sunstone. And you'll see it a little bit better when I post it afterwards with an up close picture. But just to give you an idea of size, this is like dainty and sweet. Um, it is on a 14 karat rose um, diamond cut cable chain. So you see that light just shining like crazy on the chain. And then the disc going around the little circle is just like all hammered with a cross peen hammer. Um, I think you could easily layer this one with other pieces. So just to kind of show you with the calendula, which is the kind of flower this is, you can layer this up. Nothing wrong with layers. We like to layer, but it is super duper sparkly. It's um, 14 karat yellow gold and then a cabochon. It's, um, it's an irregularly cut stone. So I don't use calibrated gemstones. I pretty much only use irregular cut stones. So that means every single piece has to have a custom made uh, setting. And these are all citrines, thanks for asking. Yeah, it looks kind of like a lemon topaz. Either would work if you're trying to hit that uh, November birthstone. Um, but yeah, they're all citrines. So citrine is in the quartz family, but it is one of the most rare naturally occurring quartz. Um, so almost all citrines that you'll see um, were originally dug out of the earth as smoky quartz or amethyst and they heat treat them to bring out that gold color. So what that says to me is they are desired more as a citrine than as a smoky quartz or an amethyst. And it's just such a cool, I mean, warm, <laughs> happy color. Um, They've called it the merchant stone. There's a couple different things. Oh, another really cool thing about citrine, sometimes naturally occurring. Um, thank you, yes, I, it's a good stone. Um, a lot of times, not a lot of times, it's actually pretty rare, um, citrine will grow in the earth next to an amethyst. And so you'll see like, it's almost like a watermelon tourmaline, like a line of purple and then yellow and they call that ametrine. So it's like amethyst and citrine together. Um, so just a really cool, I love it when two gemstones kind of occur naturally together. So that's this one. Um, this is on an 18 inch, 14 karat yellow gold chain. On the chain with everything, it is, let me see, 454. Um, if you don't need a chain or if you wanna do a, blackened chain, um, we can do that without it. I think the chain is around 130, but the first look price for both pieces, the chain and the necklace this week are 385, so don't miss it. Um, and let's see, somebody was saying, citrine, topaz, and quartz are always cheap. That is actually not true. Um, Imperial topaz is incredibly expensive. A couple months back, I did a custom piece for someone and it was really hard to find even the smallest um, pretty little Imperial Topaz for less than like $500 and it was tiny. Um, but it just it just depends. And naturally occurring citrine is, is very expensive. It's very rare. Um, so there are exceptions to the rule. Like, yeah, you can get, you know, like a big chunk of quartz, fairly inexpensive, but is it gem quality? Is it jewelry quality? Not at a cheap price point. So there are exceptions to pretty much everything, right? So um, let's see, how about some rings? I've got a couple of rings here. Um, so the first one I wanna share with you actually would go really well with the first uh, first look piece that I showed you. So the branch, maybe I should just go ahead and put that one back on because it kind of goes with this. 
And then I'll show you a pair of earrings that I'm wearing. So this is like the twist design ring. And there is a rose cut citrine. This is a very pale, honey colored citrine. Um, let's see, it is 160 after Saturday, but I have a first look price of 136. And like I said, um, these are all very, um, very easily sizable. So if you don't know your size, let me know. I will send you a sizer and we can get you all set up. I love this ring. It's a good standalone. This is not so much um, a stacking ring. I do have a stacker, so I'll go ahead and show you that one. Um, and this does really well stacking. It's sweet and petite. Um, it's got a small, this is a traditionally cut citrine on this one. And I'll just put it on the next finger. So this one right here, it goes really well. You can stack it. It's almost like a little princess crown with the citrine on top and it's more of a yellow color. And then this one right here is more of like a honey. So this sweet little stacker will be 94 after this weekend, but the first look price of 79. And then this one is 136, but after tomorrow it will be 160. So you guys are getting in on the special first look prices. So these are super sweet. I would love to see somebody stack this with their own custom stack. Um, and like I said, I'll show you, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and I will just um, switch this around now so you can see them a little bit better. Let's see, get that focus going. Oh, you see that? Goat food in the back. Um, let's see if we can get it to focus. So we've got those two. So the rose cut on the one on the left and then the traditional cut on the one on the right. Um, and if you're interested in anything in yellow gold, we can do that too. We love doing yellow gold with citrine is gorgeous. Let me switch this back around. Hello again. <laughs> okay, I have a pair of earrings to show you. I already have them on. <laughs> um, there are five little citrines, five little faceted citrines, and then three um, diamond cut tassels hanging from there. They're super fun, super lightweight. Um, really love these. They're they're just really comfortable. Now they have the signature earring backs. I'll go ahead and take it off so you can see. It's pointed at the top um, so that it doesn't roll out of your ear. And that's really important with lightweight earrings because it's so easy to lose a lightweight earring because it just wants to fall out. But with that point in there, it stays put. So these gorgeous friends, um, they are 62 this weekend, but after Saturday, they will be 74 on the website. So your first look price is 62, and this weekend they are 74. And I was saying earlier, um, I have partially payments on my website, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you put 25% down. Um, if it's your first purchase, after it's half paid, I ship them to you. If it's your second or further purchase, I'll go ahead and ship them out after the first payment. So instead of like 62, it'd be like $15. But they're beautiful. They're like faceted little pieces um, of citrine. Gorgeous and lightweight. Okay, I have one more necklace and one more bracelet, and one bracelet. I haven't showed you a bracelet yet. I don't make a lot of bracelets, so this would be fun. Um, and then I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I have three big pieces that are going to David Douglas Diamonds and Marietta. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. If you're interested in purchasing them, let me know. I'll get you in touch with the guys at David Douglas. They, sh they, um, they ship, so you can, um, you can scoop them up. But this is so such a fun <laughs> piece. I can't wait to show you a close-up of it. Um, I call it my dancing citrine necklace. So just to give you a closer idea, um, I've been playing with the dogs. <laughs> they, each little link, and there's 11 of them, has a faceted citrine that just sparkles like crazy and dances around. Um, thank you. So just a really sparkly, fun piece. Um, and it sits like kind of in the middle. I think this is another really good opportunity to stack. You could do something a little shorter or a little bit longer, either way. Um, the first look price on this one, um, it will be 174 on the website, but 
as of somebody was calling me. <laughs> um, so we do have this one. It's the Dancing Citrines necklace. So just let me know if you want one. And I'm trying to stay up on the um, comments. So just let me know. Give me a message. And let's see. We're going to end with a bracelet. Something I don't do often. So I think it kind of goes along with this style. Um, let's see. I named this one. This is my Citrine Rhythm Bracelet. And the reason it has that name is it, it kind of has a rhythm. Um, so when you see it, it'll, it kind of dangles and moves around um, and it has a good, a good little, let's see. I don't wear bracelets often, so it's a struggle for me to put them on. Got it. Okay, super dainty. If you're the stacking type, let's see. This is a really good stacker, or you can honestly wear it by itself. Hey, staff. <laughs> I just got a question about where I am. I'm just outside of Atlanta in Woodstock, so not far from Atlanta, not far from that big old airport. <laughs> so this is a really fun one. So they just kind of move. It's kind of fun. I don't know. It's lightweight too, um, and just very comfortable and dainty. So this one will be 109 after this weekend, but your first look price is 92. And you've got those happy, optimistic, pretty little sit dreams on there. Who's ready for some giant pieces? <laughs> so I have three new pieces that will be available only at David Douglas Diamonds. But like I said, if you are interested in one of them, let me know and I will get you in touch with them. Um, they have an online store and they can ship it to you. They're over in Marietta. And that was um, basically where Metal by Abby got started. So just a really cool thing. I'm gonna start with my personal favorite. Um, this is an Azurite uh, Crystal Cola Wowzer. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's big, it's blue, it's happy. So you've got this big pear shape Azurite and then the yellow gold down at the bottom. And then the wreath design, like a wreath mantle coming up the sides. Um, this killer piece, um, I believe it will be in like the 350 to 400 range. So just let me know. I really love that this piece stays in place. It's not too heavy. The stone keeps it anchored. Um, so it's just a fun, substantial piece. Um, and it's a wowzer. And it looks good on the skin, but if you have a higher neckline, it's good with the fabric underneath it too. Um, just a really fun piece. And then I have two big, giant, fiery labradorite pieces to share with you. Oh, another fun thing. We just got these custom stickers made. And so um, it's holographic. I posted a picture in my story or yeah, you know, get that rainbow action. So any purchases, get a sticker. All right, so these are a little bit longer. This one is all sterling silver. Look at that fire. <laughs> I love this stone. It's so cool. Has anybody ever seen um, The Secret of Nim? <laughs> it was like yellow gold and a red stone, but anytime I see like a large circle stone pendant like this, it makes me think of the Secret of Nim, the one with the little mice. Um, so this is a really pretty one. And I believe that this one will be like in the 225 range. You could wear it shorter. I have it on a 24 inch chain, so somewhere right around here. But there's not a bad angle for that stone. And she has a friend, a pear shape with a little bit of gold on another 24 inch chain. So another fiery piece for you here and it's got those trade wind prongs um this one's a little bit more because it's got the gold it's in like the 350 to 400 range but it's just super fiery um all right i guess we are there uh, i just want to say thank you for joining me and i will be posting um in the stories some more detailed pictures of all these new first look pieces and i am just so excited to share this with you i think you know, November can be kind of a crazy month. It's about to get into the holidays, all the craziness going on. Um, 
But citrine is such an optimistic, happy, energetic gemstone, and I think we could all use a little bit more of that in our lives right now. So, um, peace be with you, and thank you so much. Uh, message me if you have any questions, and thank you for joining me.